am a, I'm a giver. It's one of my spiritual gifts and God has afforded me opportunities to use my gift. So I use it as much as I can. And what I believe has happened is that because I have a gift of faith and also a gift of giving, and I think when you merge those two together, you get some crazy stuff. And uh, oftentimes I'm giving out of faith. Oftentimes I'm, I'm releasing things into people's lives by faith. Sometimes I, I don't have myself, but I'm sowing and I'm sacrificing and, and I'm believing and trusting God. And I think ultimately that's the way that it ought to be done because when you meet the people's need and you do what God has commanded you to do, God always meets your need. I love people. God has made me a pastor, made me a shepherd. I just happen to be blessed with a growing church. I'm really intentional about the relationships that I make. I participate in our grow groups to make sure uh, that I uh, have some relationships with people in our church. And so I, I really try to make myself available. I have an open door policy. Uh, you don't have to go through weeks and weeks and weeks uh, to get an appointment with me. I really work hard at making sure that I keep relationships with the members of New Beginnings Church. I still teach new members class. That's one of the things that I believe helps me to keep relationships. When people first come into the ministry, it helps them to get my heart. It helps them to know the vision that God has given me. It helps them to understand what we're trying to do and what we're attempting to do with this ministry. It gives me a wonderful opportunity to share with them the expectations that we have here at this church, especially if they come from other churches. We want them to know this is not that. And, and so it gives us a great, great format to share with them the vision and the heart of this ministry.